And at number one, we have the Hermes Kelly bag, with prices starting at well over £6,500 for the Mini Kelly. The Hermes Kelly bag is one of the most valuable, sought after and coveted luxury bags of all time. The Hermes Kelly bag comes with a storied history and took over 50 years before it was officially named the Kelly. First introduced in 1935, the Kelly bag was originally called the Sac de Peches before it was catapulted to wealth status by fashion icon, American born actress turned Monica princess, Grace Kelly. Grace Kelly carried the bag everywhere. And on one occasion in 1956, she was photographed innovatively using the gorgeous accessory as a camouflage to hide her growing pregnancy from paparazzi. It was the public who actually named the Sac de Peches the Kelly bag, and it was eventually renamed the Kelly in 1977. For almost a century, the Hermes Kelly bag has become an icon, transcending fashion as a keepsake and heirloom. And at number two, we have the Hermes Birkin bag, with prices starting at well over £7,000 for the Birkin 25. Hermes Birkin bags are amongst the most desired items in luxury fashion industry. The Hermes Birkin is named after a cultural icon, the singer, actress and model Jane Birkin, an English actress based in France during the majority of her career. The Birkin came to existence following an exchange between Jane Birkin and former Hermes chief Jean-Louis Dumas, who met by chance on a flight from Paris to London in the early 80s. Jane explained to Dumas it was hard to find a leather weekend bag that she liked. Dumas suggested she needed one with pockets, and this sparked a conversation about her ideal bag. Dumas immediately pulled out a pencil and an airplane sick bag, and the two designed a sketch for the Birkin. Hermes officially debuted the now iconic Birkin bag in 1984. The Hermes Birkin bag is the ultimate status symbol of wealth. The exclusiveness of the Hermes Birkin bag is steeped in celebrated history, heritage, tradition and craftsmanship. And at number three, we have the Chanel 255, with prices starting at upwards of £3,650 for the mini bag and upwards of £7,550 for the medium size. The Chanel reissue 255 prototype was first released in 1925. Initially made from woolen fabric, a quilted jersey material and featured a rectangular twisting lock with very short strap, which meant you could only carry it on the crook of your arm or as a clutch. Gabrielle Coco Chanel then updated and revamped the design she'd been evolving and it wasn't until February 1955 that Coco Chanel debuted a shoulder-carried version of the bag, and the end product was called the 255 after the date and launch of the creation. The Chanel 255 was initially discontinued shortly after the release of the Chanel Classic Flap due to its popularity, but later the late Karl Lagerfeld decided in 2005 to bring it back and called it the reissue 255 bag. Chanel released an exact duplicate of the original 255 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of the original 255. The Chanel Reissue 255 holds the history and longevity of a true icon. The bag is not only the most iconic bag from the fashion house, but is also one of the most iconic handbags in the fashion world as a pioneer. And at number four, we have the Louis Vuitton Armour with prices starting at upwards of £1,260 for the BB size. Created in 1934 by Gaston Louis Vuitton, the Louis Vuitton armour bag was actually rumoured to be a custom-made bag at the request of Gabrielle Chanel. But it wasn't until years later that Coco Chanel gave her permission to manufacture the bag for general consumption of all fashionistas. The armour is a practical and compact trapezoidal bag with a long base evolved from the Louis Vuitton streamer bag. Although the Alma is now one of the most recognisable handbags in the world, it has taken several decades for this model to evolve. It was first redesigned in 1950s and called the name Sac Monsu. It was then redesigned to be more compact and modernised for everyday use and renamed the Squire Bag. An additional year, few years later, it was renamed the Sac Champ Elise. Yet again, the bag model reappeared in 1992 with an updated and revitalised design and slimmer profile decked out in Louis Vuitton's signature monogram canvas and given, name, given the name Alma, a tribute to place the Alma, 
a landmark spot in the tree lined square in Paris where the Avenue Montaigne meets the Seine in the Paris high fashion district. The Alma is a lovely, sophisticated bag that is timeless and classic. And at number five, we have the Dior Lady Dior, with prices starting at upwards of £3,900 for the small size. Since its debut, the Lady Dior handbag has never stopped turning heads. The Lady Dior bag is an undeniably a classic bag, a bag fit for a princess. This iconic bag was actually endorsed and elevated by the style and elegance of a real-life princess and became one of the favourite chosen in accompanying bags of one of the world's most adored princesses. The original Lady Dior bag was debuted in 1994 under the creative director of Gianfranco Fur. The elegant bag was yet to be named and was officially called the Shushu, a French term of endearment which in English means favourite. Bernadette Chirac, France's former first lady, is said to have asked the world-renowned Dior to make a special item for Princess Diana for her visit to France, as she wished to give her a unique gift for the occasion as a token of French culture. The house offered her the chouchou, and it was created in leather for the first time and completed from start to finish in record time in a single night. The bag was presented to the princess at the inauguration of the Paul Cézanne exhibition at the Grand Palais in Paris. And Diana absolutely loved it from its first appearance and from that moment onwards. The Lady Dior made history and was catapulted to iconic bag status. The larger series was officially launched in 1996, paying homage to Princess Diana, when the Dior Fashion House officially changed the name of the Shushu to the Lady Dior bag. With a few amendments and updates, the Lady Dior still remains one of the true classic and iconics from Dior. Synonymous with style, elegance and beauty, the Lady Dior is rich in history and heritage. And at number six, we have the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bag with prices starting at upwards of £1,060 for the 25 size. When introduced, the Speedy was an instant success. But before the Speedy came into existence, its precursor was the Keepal. George Vuitton invented the signature Keepal as the perfect travel companion as an overnight weekend bag. The Keepal model was so popular that soon after a smaller version, under the name the Express, was created. The Express was a pure travel accessory designed from a personal effect, so that travellers could keep their travel essentials close. The Express was then adapted once again to meet the demands of the busy women of the time. With that, in 1932, the Express was referred to and renamed to the Speedy. A year after its debut, Louis Vuitton reintroduced the Speedy in the monogram canvas. Even though the Speedy bag continued to grow in popularity, it can be argued that it did not become the timeless iconic bag it is today until Audrey Hepburn was seen carrying one in the 1960s. The Louis Vuitton Speedy has endured the test of time and trend to remain one of the most iconic bags in fashion history. And at number seven, we have the Chanel Classic Flat, with prices starting at upwards of £7,090 for the small size and upwards of £7,550 for the medium size. From the expert craftsmanship to the beautiful and rich history behind this bag, the Chanel Classic Fat is most definitely a classic and timeless forever bag. The story of the Chanel Classic Flat bag is rooted in the creation of the Chanel 255 bag. The original 255 had been redesigned multiple times over the years, but the most significant adaptation was created by the late Karl Lagerfeld in 1983. He introduced a new version of the 255 called the Chanel Classic Flat also known as the 1112. Lagerfeld made a few changes to the 255 to make the elegant and timeless Chanel Classic Flap, updating the bag with a few distinctive features, innovatively changing the classic square twisting lock of the 255, known as the Mademoiselle Lock, to the iconic interlocking CC Lock Clasp hardware, one of the main characteristic differences between the 255 and the Chanel Classic Flap, staying true to the original while showcasing its own sophisticated flair signature. The classic flap is a bag that has stood the test of time and fashion. And at number eight, we have the Fendi Peekaboo bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,850 for the Fendi Peekaboo ICU petite size and upwards of £3,200 for the Fendi Peekaboo mini. The Fendi Peekaboo bag debuted on the runway for the spring summer 2009 collection and was created by Silvia Venturini Fendi, the granddaughter of Adele and Eduardo Fendi, who is credited with designing and launching one of Fendi's most timeless and iconic bags, 
The Fendi Peekaboo bag was envisioned as a timeless heirloom, a classic that can be passed on to the next generation. Fendi has imagined and revitalised the Fendi Peekaboo season after season, solidifying its appeal to women from all generations. Famed for its iconic design, the Peekaboo bag takes its name from the popular children's game Hide and Seek, and also gets its name from its unusual construction, where the two internal compartment halves are divided in the middle by a rigid partition by a metal bar. This creates a front flap that can be pushed down to reveal the central partition and the artistry of the bag inside. This gives the peekaboo an element of surprise as it gives you a peek, revealing the interior with the engraved Fendi logo plate. The peekaboo is a simple, complex and timeless bag. The appeal lies in its understated sophistication and elegance, with a discreet if you know you know appeal as it's not loud or embossed with any logos. The peekaboo is a testament to the bag's timeless look and Fendi's quality craftsmanship has proven to stand the test of time. And at number 9 we have the Delvaux Brillion bag. With prices starting at upwards of £4,600 for the mini size. Le Brillion bag was created in 1958 as part of Delvaux's collection for when Brussels hosted the World Fair. Said to be inspired by the Philips Pavilion, a remarkable structure designed by the office of Le Cabousier by Swiss French architect Charles Eduardo Genere, with the building fittingly named Le Brillion. Elegant and sophisticated, the beautiful Brillion bag has won over hearts of the elites and socialites for more than six decades. The Brillion bag is a perfect finishing touch to every outfit, a beautiful bag for all seasons. From the classic to the fanciful, the Brillion bag has been reimagined multiple times but still exudes the sophistication and elegance with the unique Delvaux Savoir Faire and superior mastery that makes it highly desired and confetted for those looking for stealth luxury pieces. And at number 10, we have the Gucci Bamboo Bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,230 for the mini size. One of the world's very first it bags can be arguably said to be the Gucci Bamboo Bag. Few bags are as recognisable and as creative as the curved, semi-circular handle of the famous Gucci bamboo bag, which helps catapult Gucci to worldwide recognition. The famous Gucci bamboo bag was designed and released in 1947 in select Gucci boutiques. Wartime rations created material shortages in 1947 impacting the fashion industry, including Gucci, due to the fact that the materials to create bags were limited. However, Gucci artisans found an innovative solution and created a new bag design that could be produced despite the embargoes. They came up with the brilliant idea to incorporate bamboo into their handbags. Gucci found and used bamboo which was extremely durable and easily imported from Japan to craft their luxury handbags. The usage of bamboo was also reduced the amount of leather to make the bag and the cost. The bamboo handles were synonymous with Gucci from the 1940 onwards. The Gucci bamboo bag is the fashion house's cornerstone design and still remains a favourite today as an essential part of the identity of the Gucci fashion house that will forever leave a distinguished legacy in the brand. And at number 11 we have the Hermes Constance bag with prices starting at upwards of circa £6,500 to £7,000 for the Constance 18. In 1959 Hermes employed a designer by the name of Catherine Chaillé, who gave birth to a girl by the name of Constance. To honour this momentous event, Catherine decided to name one of her handbag designs after her child. The first Constance left the Hermes production line to the stores on the day of the birth of Catherine's child. The Constance immediately gained popularity through the endorsement of former First Lady Jackie Kennedy who favoured the Hermes Constance bag. The Constance is an architecturally inspired bag, classic in appeal, but still contemporary in design. The Hermes Constance is a bag that has endured the test of time, modern yet classic, functional and versatile, chic and effortless. The Constance is a great investment. And at number 12, we have the Louis Vuitton Capucins bag with prices starting at upwards of £4,350 for the mini size. The Louis Vuitton Capucins is one of the most highly desired and sought after Louis Vuitton bags. Launched in 2013, it was quite a departure from the signature Louis Vuitton monogrammed canvas designs, typical of the Louis Vuitton fashion house. Yet the Capucins is the ultimate exemplar of Louis Vuitton's savoir faire in leather handbag making which has always been a part of Louis Vuitton's DNA. 
The name of the Capucins pays homage to the location of the first ever Louis Vuitton boutique and workshop opened in 1854 in Paris near Place Vendôme. On a small street at Rue Nueve des Capucins, later renamed Rue des Capucins. The Capucins is a classic piece worth the investment, loved by women looking for something timeless and elegant. Then at number 13, we have the Chanel Trendy CC Bag. With prices starting at upwards of £5,670 for the medium size. Launched in Chanel's Spring 2014 collection, the Chanel Trendy CC handbag is another one of Chanel's most desired bags. When initially released, the Trendy was thought of as a woman's working alternative to the classic flat. Functional yet stylish, and the bag was an instant hit. The shape and silhouette of the Trendy CC is said to be reminiscent of that of the Hermes Kelly, but it is the Trendy CC's distinctive feature that distinguishes it from other classics. The Trendy CC is a functional, practical and easy to use bag as an everyday companion. A timeless, sophisticated, classic bag, it is definitely one to consider for your luxury collection. And at number 14, we have the Chanel Coco Handle Bag with prices starting at upwards of £4,000 for the small size. Named after Gabrielle Coco Chanel, the Coco handle was first introduced in Chanel's Fall Winter 2015 collection. The Coco handle has a more trapezoidal structured silhouette and features a top handle with a distinctive front flap. The Coco handle was originally a seasonal bag that first became a staple Chanel classic. The Chanel Coco handle is another bag said to be a cross between the classic flap and the Hermes Kelly and is sometimes called the flap bag with handle. The Chanel Coco handle bag imbues all the signature Chanel house codes, including the diamond and chevron quilting styles, the interlocking CC logo with the twist clasp, the interwoven leather and chain strap, in addition to the signature Mona Lisa pocket on the exterior of the bag. Although featuring many similarities to the Chanel Classic Flap, the Chanel Coco handle still stands its ground amongst the other popular Chanel handbag designs. The Chanel Coco handle bag has been such a success and an icon in its own right that it's now offered every season. The Chanel Coco handle is a practical and functional fashion forward bag that will complement any wardrobe. The Chanel Coco handle is truly a timeless piece that will never go out of style. And at number 15, we have the Chanel Luggage Tote, with prices starting at upwards of £1,850 for the nano size. The Celine Luggage Tote is one of the most iconic bags offered by the Celine Fashion House. Debuted in 2010 under the then creative director Phoebe Philo, its popularity only surged after a relaunch of the bag, which was then spotted on the arms of celebrities including the Olsen Twins. This quickly created a media frenzy and shortly after, the bag was selling out in stores and online. The Celine Luggage Tote Bag is a timeless, functional classic bag, often referred to as the Smile Bag. The Celine Luggage Tote's timeless and classic design transcends time and fashion trends. Each season, Celine releases new variations, but its minimalistic appearance remains forever. Celine has an effortless, chic aesthetics with an if-you-know-you-know -you -know appeal and the Celine Luggage Tote exudes all these Celine attributes. And at number 16, we have the Prada Galleria Bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,800 for the small size. Combining quality with classic designs is a Prada specialism, with the Prada Galleria being the timeless, classic and most recognisable piece that epitomises this. Rooted in Prada tradition, the Prada Galleria is Prada's most iconic bag to date. The bag is also often referred to as the Salfiano Lux, after the leather it is made of. The Prada Galleria was first debuted in 2007, paying homage to the history of Prada's humble beginnings to Galleria Vittorio Emmanuel II, where Mario Prada opened his first store in Milan in 1913. The Galleria is a classic piece that will never go out of style. For an easy go-to bag, 
and a safe investment option in your luxury collection, the Prada Galleria bag is one to consider. And at number 17, we have the Saint Laurent Sac de Jour bag, with prices starting at upwards of £1,625 for the nano size. The Sac de Jour was debuted under creative director E.D. Soleimani in the Fall Winter 2014 collection. Seen on the arms of socialites and celebrities alike, the Sac de Jour bag fast became an it bag due to its practical nature and its minimal yet stylish look. The name Sac de Jour translates into bag of the day and is the perfect everyday handbag. It is a signature handbag for the Saint Laurent fashion house and remains one of the most coveted and iconic styles. The Sac de Jour bag is an edgy, stylish, contemporary and effortlessly cool and is undoubtedly a timeless shape, a seasonless choice and a true classic. And at number 18, we have the Loewe Amazona bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,000 for the 19 size. Originally designed in 1975, marking the new era in Spanish society, the Amazona has been making a statement ever since. The Amazona bag is forever associated with powerful females. Named after the female characters of Greek mythology, the Amazonas, a race of warrior women. The Loewe Amazona bag is a revolutionary bag created at a time of major cultural shift when women were gaining their equality and independence in the workplace. The Amazona was designed to celebrate women's newfound feminine freedom. It was designed to be liberating, embodying and personifying the spirit of the era. The Loewe Amazona bag is a bag that is practical, comfortable and versatile with enough space to hold everything needed over the course of a working day. The Loewe Amazona bag is designed for all kinds of occasions, the perfect accompaniment to any outfit that suits all kinds of styles. The Amazona was the first 24-hour bag to combine style and functionality. It speaks on behalf of the brand's everlasting mission of beautiful craft. The Amazona bag is the ultimate investment of premium craftsmanship and timeless sophistication. The Amazona bag will continue to stand the test of time and fashion and keep a stronghold in your wardrobe forever. And at number 19, we have the Givenchy Antigona bag, with prices starting at upwards of £1,380 for the mini size. The Givenchy Antigona bag has been one of the most popular and highly sought after bags from the Givenchy fashion house. The Givenchy Antigona bag was launched in the winter 2010 collection and it instantly took the world by storm. Released under the creative direction of Ricardo Tisci, the Antigona is a perfect example of Givenchy's fashion-forward attitude and edgy flair. Tisci's artistic signature is traditionally a play on contrast in femininity with masculine silhouettes in both his accessory and clothing lines. And the Antigona perfectly encapsulates this. The name Antigona was inspired by the powerful Greek mythology heroine Antigone who was Oedipus' daughter. Antigone means unbending and is significant of her strong, fiery, daring and defiant personality. Antigone endured despite the challenges and tragedies of her life. The Antigona bag is a robust, sleek and timeless classic, fusing and balancing the equilibrium between soft and strong, masculine and feminine, alluring and confident. Not just a statement piece, it's an ultra stylish investment piece that will see you through for many years. And at number 20, we have the Dior Saddle Bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,600 for the mini size. The Dior Saddle Bag was designed and debuted in 1999 on the runway for John Galliano's Spring Summer 2000 collection. Galliano's first bag for Dior was a bag in the shape of a horse saddle. The saddle bag was ubiquitous and quickly propelled into the mainstream. The bag quickly became the most talked about accessory and was seen on the arms of every it girl, both real and fictional, in the mainstream in the late 90s and early 2000s. From Paris Hilton to Carrie Bradshaw, the kidney-shaped classic bag also made pop culture being featured on Sex and the City. The Dior saddle bag is easily recognisable due to its unique shape. It features a short shoulder strap and bold hardware and is worn tight against the arms. Initially, the Dior saddle bag was an instant hit, but only a year later, the purse began to fade and fashionistas moved on to the next it bag. But in 2014, Beyonce catapulted the Dior saddle bag firmly back into the global fashion scene 
and she was spotted wearing a vintage version which was then followed in hot pursuit by many other Hollywood A-listers. The rise in popularity and increased demand for vintage versions of the Dior saddle bag was so hard to ignore by the Dior fashion house. And in 2018, the must-have statement bag of the late 90s was revived for Dior under the creative direction of Maria Grazia Turi. It became the centerpiece of the Dior fashion house once again. Quite the revival for the Dior saddle bag. However, it's back here to stay and has become a street style staple for a more daring fashionista and is definitely one to consider for your luxury collection. And at number 21, we have the Fendi Baguette Bag. With prices starting at upwards of £1,750 for the mini size. The Fendi Baguette Bag most definitely started off as an it bag of the season, but has now become a mainstay and a classic. The iconic bag made its debut in the 1998 Fall Winter Collection, thanks to its mastermind, Sylvia Venturini Fendi. Sylvia was asked to craft an accessory that reflected not only the DNA, the Fendi fashion house, but the spirit of minimalism of society at the time. The end product was anything but minimalistic. Instead, it was flashy, playful and unique, unlike anything else on the market at the time. The Fendi fashion house was unsure of its size and functionality, but Sylvia wanted to move away from basic designs. So Sylvia stuck to her vision and trusted her instinct. Fendi sparked the rapid consumption of regular bags by introducing the baguette bag in numerous different designs. The revival of the iconic bag has ensured it will forever remain a part of the Fendi fashion house. The Fendi baguette is a timeless, iconic, classic piece that will remain in the archive of Fendi iconic bags forever. And at number 22, we have the Mulberry Bayswater Bag and the Mulberry Zipped Bayswater Bag. With prices starting at upwards of £1,095 for the Mulberry Bayswater Bag in the medium regular size and upwards of £1,095 for the Zipped Bayswater Bag in the mini size. Designed by Nicholas Knightley and debuted in 2003, the Bayswater bag is Mulberry's most famous piece and bestseller since making its debut nearly two decades ago. The Mulberry Bayswater has always been produced on home soil in Somerset and is an ode to the brand's heritage and the brand's simplicity and classic feminine aesthetic. The Mulberry Bayswater bag's name is taken from an upmarket leafy district of London. The Timeless Bag is a cross between a Birkin and the English Doctor Bag, but with its own distinctive style. The Marbury Bayswater is one of the most desired British luxury bags, the ultimate carry-all for the fascist conscious. And at number 23, we have the Celine Classic Bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,950 in the medium regular size. Admired for its understated and low-key minimalist allure, Celine prides itself on its discreet nature that exudes a true if you know you know aesthetic. One of the most famous, iconic and timeless pieces that imbues the minimalistic and simplistic Celine house code is the Celine Classic Bag. The Celine Classic is an understated star. It was originally called the Box Bag due to the fact that the most common option came in the box calfskin option. A smooth leather that develops a patina over time, leaving an additional lovely glossy sheen. The Celine Classic is the epitome of Celine's authentic, feminine and intricate craftsmanship. The Classic is actually a reinterpretation debuted by Phoebe Philo during her tenure as the creative director of the Celine Fashion House. In 2011, the classic was modified from a 1970s bag from the Celine archive. The Celine classic bag is a style that will remain in your wardrobe forever. And at number 24, we have the Chloe Marcy saddle bag, with prices starting at upwards of £850 for the small size. Chloe has produced some iconic bags over the years. And one that continues to turn heads is the Marcy Saddlebag. 
The Chloe Marcy Saddle was launched in 2009 under former creative director Hannah McGibbon. The Chloe Marcy Saddle bag is a classic from the Chloe Fashion House. A fresh feminine bag with soft curved lines exudes in a 70s bohemian chic allure. The Chloe Marcy Saddle bag pays tribute to the Maison's equestrian roots with its rounded silhouette and equestrian inspired shape. The Chloe Marcy saddle bag effortlessly evokes Chloe's brand DNA. A minimalistic bag, easy to style with any outfit. A timeless classic from the Chloe fashion house that will fit any wardrobe. And at number 25, we have the Bottega Veneta padded cassette bag. With prices starting at upwards of £2,420 for the small size, and upwards of £3,140 for the medium regular size. The Bottega Veneta padded cassette bag is a Daniel Lee creation that was debuted in 2019. The padded cassette bag is a pleasant twist on Bottega's iconic intratarato weave, a classic Bottega house code which has been taken and exaggerated on this flat bag to give it a double-faced maxi weave aesthetic with a block quilted look. The exterior is identical to the interior, with the skillfully woven broad strips and double-faced weaving technique continuing on the inside. The padded cassette bag exudes an understated elegance with its clean-cut aesthetic and modern allure and will definitely remain a staple in any wardrobe. And at number 26, we have the Loewe Puzzle Bag. With prices starting at upwards of £1,700 for the mini size. The Loewe Puzzle Bag was the first bag designed by Jonathan Anderson for Loewe, debuted at the Men's Spring Summer 15 collection. Thanks to its unique design, the Puzzle Bag was also released in a smaller version for the Women's Collection shortly after. The Puzzle Bag quickly became a popular instantly recognisable and iconic handbag in the Loewe fashion house. The puzzle bag is a unique bag inspired by a jigsaw concept, featuring a distinctive innovative cuboid construction put together in a unique fashion. The puzzle bag is like a piece of art with its geometric design and smooth edges, presenting a fun juxtaposition of shapes. The intricate design of the puzzle bag takes artisans nearly nine hours to complete. The precise cutting and joining and sewing determines how the bag is to be folded and takes 542 actions to complete approximately. The puzzle bag is a one-of-a-kind rare piece that will stand out in any collection. Transcending seasons, it is definitely here to stay. And at number 27, we have the Moina Rejan bag. With prices starting at upwards of 3000 £650 for the BB size. The new Rajan design is a tribute to Pauline Moina herself and the rebirth of the renowned Rajan bag that was first launched in 1903, inspired by and named after her good friend Gabrielle Rajan. Pauline Moina was the first female trunk maker in history. Not only did she make specially shaped trunks to fit the contours of automobiles, she was also the first trunk maker to produce women's handbags. Pauline Moyna created the Rejan bag in Gabrielle's honour and it was one of the first bags to pay homage to a celebrity still available today. Ramesh Nair is today credited with inventing the new Rejan bag. Moyna has managed to seamlessly combine innovative techniques with their take on old world craftsmanship. The Moyna Rejan bag embodies Moyna's exceptional savoir-faire and luxury synonymous with Moina, an excellently crafted, timeless bag to add to your wardrobe. And at number 28, we have the Hermes Bolid bag, with prices starting at upwards of £4,580 for the 25 size and upwards of £6,090 for the 31 size. The Hermes Bolid is one of the most revolutionary handbags ever made. The bag has stood through almost a hundred years in fashion and is still going strong. The history of the Hermes Bolid bag is linked to Henry Ford, founder of Ford Motors, 
who showed Emile Maurice Hermes a new technology at one of his factories. The use of a zipper to fasten a cloth to the rooftop for convertible cars. Emile Maurice Hermes used this new invention to revolutionize luxury handbags as we knew it. Hermes patented the zip closure mechanism in France and soon after Hermes added a zipper to the middle of their bag designs creating the Bolide in 1923. The Bolide was the first Hermes bag made with a zip and the first bag in history made with a zipper. The word Bolide originally meant meteor or comet and then in the 20th century it was turned into a nickname for sports or fast cars going full speed on the road. The Bolide is a versatile bag suitable for everyday use and travel. The Hermes Bolide bag represents an essential piece of fashion history with the power to make any outfit look exclusive and expensive. The elegant design is key for fashionistas that are not loud over the top. The chic and luxurious bag is a fantastic choice to add to any luxurious wardrobe. And at number 29, we have the Gucci Jackie bag. With prices starting at upwards of £1,770 for the mini size. The Gucci Jackie bag was debuted in the 1950s. Originally called the 50s Constance, it was a functional and chic bag with all the markings of a classic. However, it did not reach the it bag status. But with a little help and push from former first lady Jackie Kennedy, the bag took on a new identity. Jackie Kennedy attracted the hearts of many around the globe with her elegant style and was considered one of the most poised and dignified women in the world. The bag definitely received Jackie's seal of approval and became synonymous with her style and elegance, effortless look and sophisticated fashion. The popularity of the bag rose shortly after, solidifying the Gucci Jackie bag's place in history as a style and silhouette that has become a mainstay in Gucci's archive of iconic bags. The Gucci Jackie bag was a new silhouette that encapsulated the era of the free spirit bohemian style of the 60s and 70s. Its main inspiration was the bags used by homeless people and wanderers. The name and model refer to the knapsack made from a handkerchief and a stick that was used to carry their belongings. Originally designed as a unisex bag, it grew to be a favorite ladies bag. The elegance of Jackie Kennedy had a great influence of the fashion of those years and it is still here today. The Gucci Jackie 1961 has proved itself as an elegant evergreen fashion accessory, blending the past and the future into one distinctive unisex allure. And at number 30 we have the Saint Luan Lulu bag, with prices starting at upwards of £1,385 for the Lulu toy size and upwards of £2,230 for the small size. The Saint Laurent Lulu bag is one of the most sought after bags from the Saint Laurent fashion house. Debuted in early 2017 by Anthony Vaccarello, the Lulu bag was named as a tribute, paying homage to the late Lulu de la Falaise, a muse and close collaborator of Yves Saint Laurent for over 30 years. She had an eccentric but elegant style and the influence that her style had on Yves Saint Laurent is irrefutable. Lulu designed jewellery and accessory for the Saint Laurent fashion house for decades. Lulu also inspired numerous Saint Laurent women's wear design and purportedly the women's tuxedo. The Saint Laurent Lulu bag has the quintessential YSL elegance a classy and timeless bag with a touch of bohemian flair. And at number 31, we have the Chanel Boy Bag, with prices starting at upwards of £4,570 for the small size. The Chanel Boy Bag was debuted in Chanel's Full Winter collection in 2011 and has fast become an iconic bag of the Chanel fashion house and a mainstay in Chanel's handbag selection that has been offered every season since its release. The Chanel Boy Bag pays homage to the love of Gabrielle Coco Chanel's life, Arthur Boy Capel, who was an English polo player and aristocrat, in addition to being Coco Chanel's muse and greatest love. Arthur Boy Capel inspired Gabrielle Coco Chanel's tendencies to play with the masculine accent in her style, 
and subsequently inspired the late Karl Lagerfeld. The Chanel boy bag was the first complete redesign of the classic flap, while still honouring many of Coco Chanel's original 255 house codes. The boy bag introduced some more modern updates. The inception of the boy bag started in 2010 when the late Karl Lagerfeld delved into the Chanel archive and came across a bandolier and cartridge bag used for storing ammunition during a hunt. However, Coco Chanel had repurposed the bag for her equestrian trips, using the bag as a purse. Karl Lagerfeld used this as the inspiration for the boy bag and added his signature decadent flair through the use of heavy hardware along with various fabrics and enhancements. The Chanel boy bag strikes the balance between fashion and functionality, the quintessential Parisian accessory, definitely a youthful and timeless piece to consider for your luxury collection. And at number 32, we have the Dior 30 Montaigne bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,800 for the medium regular size. The 30 Montaigne bag is a special bag named after and paying homage to the Dior Maison's address in Paris, 30 Avenue Montaigne, the beating heart of the Dior fashion house, where Monsieur Dior first presented his works, dating back to 1946 47, a few months before the new look revolution. For the superstitious Monsieur Dior, it was love at first sight, and Monsieur Dior was determined to call the appealing townhouse his. Debuted under creative director Maria Grazia Turi, the 30 Montaigne bag was released in 2019. The Dior 30 Montaigne bag is a practical bag with a clean, clear cut aesthetic incorporating the understated elegance of old Paris in a modern way and is definitely a seasonless investment piece. And at number three, we have the Celine 16 bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,750 for the small size. The Celine 16 bag was debuted in 2018. The first handbag offering under the creative direction of Edie Suleimani. The Celine 16 is a 60s inspired design that comes with a top handle and a cropped flap. First spotted on the arms of Lady Gaga, the Celine 16 bag is named after the location of Celine's headquarters at the Maison's Paris address at 16 Rue Vivienne in the second arrondissement of Paris. The Celine 16 bag took over six months to craft, tested with over 100 leathers to reach the final design. The story goes that Edi Suleimani actually designed the bag on his first day at Celine to recapture Celine's 60s detail. The Celine 16 bag has a sleek and minimalistic aesthetic that exudes all of Celine's historic codes imbuing Parisian style and classicism expected from the Celine fashion house. And at number 34, we have the Hermes Evelyn bag with prices starting at upwards of £2,730 for the Evelyn 3rd edition in the PM size. The Hermes Evelyn bag is one of Hermes's most popular crossbody style bags, with a saddle-like silhouette. Originally designed by Evelyn Bertrand, in 1978, she was the head of Hermes's riding department. Evelyn and her team developed a new design for a bag that would be convenient and hands-free for horse groomers to carry their equestrian tools. Evelyn settled on a design for a crossbody bag that featured one removable, non-adjustable shoulder strap attached to a simple leather body with a small belt closure that snaps into place to secure its contents. The defining feature of this design was the air hole ventilation feature in the style of a hate shaped holes designed on one side of the bag, allowing for the equestrian care tools to dry out whilst in the bag. The Evelyn bag was actually designed to be worn with the perforated H side facing the body, but since the bag moved from stable equipment to a luxury everyday bag, the H side is worn facing outwards. The Hermes Evelyn bag was originally relegated to equestrian goods until the early to mid 2000s when the bag was mysteriously moved to the leather goods department and the Hermes Evelyn's popularity rose. 
The Hermes Evelyn is a favourite entry-level Hermes accessory bag, the perfect first purchase when delving into the world of Hermes, an investment piece that will sure last a lifetime. At number 35, we have the Goyard Saint Louis tote bag, with prices starting at upwards of £1,200 for the PM size. The Goyard Saint Louis tote bag is the most ubiquitous and popular bag amongst Goyard lovers and fashionistas around the world, especially used as a functional travel bag. Being one of the most popular and iconic bags from the Goyard fashion house, this accessory is the epitome of innovation and tradition. Its name is a reference to King Louis IX of France, known as Saint Louis. The Saint Louis tote bag does not change with the seasons nor with the fashion. It draws inspiration from its exceptional heritage. The simplistic Goyard Saint Louis tote is a prized mainstay in Goyard's handbag offering and is one of the most recognisable bags in the Goyard handbag collection. For the traveller, busy woman or fashionista, the Goyard Saint Louis tote is the perfect travel companion. And at number 36, we have the Salvatore Ferragamo iconic top handle bag with prices starting at upwards of £1,970 for the small size. The Salvatore Ferragamo top handle bag is a classic design that features a simple A-line silhouette and the signature Gensini clasp closure in a gold tone adorning the middle of the front flap of the top handle bag. The iconic Salvatore Ferragamo top handle bag was originally designed by Salvatore's daughter Fiamma Ferragamo and was first launched in the 1990s. The bag fast became synonymous with Ferragamo's clean-cut sophistication and premium craftsmanship. And when initially released, it was an instant success thanks to its ease of use, perfect proportions, and clean, timeless design with minimalistic hardware. A true house classic, the bag has withstood the test of time and remains an essential part of Salvatore Ferragamo's handbag collection today. The iconic Creations Top Handle Bag is simple, classic and elegant, a feminine tote that epitomises true Italian luxury with sleek simplicity. With the Salvatore Ferragamo Top Handle Bag, the Salvatore Ferragamo Fashion House's history, craftsmanship and attention to detail shines through, making it a worthy bag to consider for your luxury collection. And at number 37, we have the Chanel 19 Bag with prices starting at upwards of £4,740 for the medium regular size. In March of 2019, Chanel debuted the final collection under the creative direction of the late Karl Lagerfeld. Karl Lagerfeld being Chanel's in-house designer of over 30 years. It was then that the Chanel 19 made its runway debut. The Chanel 19 bag was designed by Karl Lagerfeld alongside Virginie Veillard, who worked alongside Karl Lagerfeld for 30 years also and has now taken over as creative director of Chanel. The Chanel 19 is Veillard and Lagerfeld's reimagining of the Chanel classics and paying homage to the house icon, the Chanel 255 bag, which was created by Coco Chanel in February 1955, hence the name 255. The Chanel 19 bag is named after the year of its birth, 2019 and is also coincidentally said to be named after Coco Chanel's birthday, which is on August the 19th. The Chanel 19 bag is an update on the classic 255, but with a more contemporary feel than its predecessors. In terms of key features, the Chanel 19 does not deviate much from Chanel's house code. The Chanel 19 bag is a practical companion, imbued with elegance and sophistication, and in true embodiment of the past, present and future as the perfect combination of traditional Chanel details and the modern 21st century elements. And at number 38, we have the Gucci Dionysus bag, with prices starting at upwards of £1,700 for the mini size. Shortly after Alessandro Michele was promoted to creative director, he debuted his first handbag for the Gucci fashion house, the Dionysus. Debuted and released in 2015, the Gucci Dionysus combines Gucci's historic house codes with a modern update. When first released, the Dionysus was offered in Gucci's original 
Gigi's supreme coated canvas combined with suede detailing, but the defining feature of the Dionysus was the distinctive, striking, signature Tiger Heads closure hardware in a horseshoe shape, adorning the front of the bag flap, an instantly recognisable piece of jewellery. According to Greek mythology, Dionysus was the god of fertility, wine, celebration and dance with a hint of madness. And the tiger heads have been adapted from his story, in which Dionysus is said to have crossed a river on the back of a tiger sent to him by his father Zeus, which is why the body of water was also later named Tigris River. The antique metal horseshoe piece with tiger heads on the end with jewel crystals of different colours can appear in silver, palladium and gold tones. The horse shape being an element that links back to Gucci's equestrian roots. The Dionysus has first become another iconic Gucci bag, with a design that speaks to Alessandro's philosophies surrounding culture and extravagance. The Dionysus is a bag that can dress up any outfit. Among the most iconic Gucci bags of all times, the Dionysus continues to be coveted as a Gucci staple. The Gucci Dionysus is the perfect blend of Gucci's 70s glamour with a refreshing update. Whether you're looking for a timeless, elegant bag or just a trendy seasonal piece, the Gucci Dionysus bag is definitely a piece you should consider adding to your collection. And at number 39, we have the Hermes Garden Party Bag, with prices starting at upwards of £2,830 for the 30 size. Debuted in 1964, the Hermes Garden Party Bag is a simple tote bag with a classic silhouette. A minimalistic bag with no obvious logos or visible branding indicating that the bag originates from Hermes. The Hermes Garden Party Bag's blank canvas can be personalised and accessorised with one of Hermes's colourful charms or twillies. Considering the exquisite finish and craftsmanship offered by the Hermes Fashion House, the Hermes Garden Party Bag has hit the mark on quality and functionality. It has a casual, relaxed vibe but is still structured and a very chic bag. And at number 40, we have the Chanel Deville Tote Bag, with prices starting at upwards of £3,100 for the small size. Like most Chanel bags, the Chanel Deauville tote bag makes a statement. The Chanel Deauville tote bag is a classic and timeless tote, named after the seaside resort in Normandy. The Deauville tote bag was debuted on the runway in Chanel's summer-spring 2012 collection. In addition, the Chanel Deauville tote bag pays homage to the iconic Paris address of the famous store, 31 Rue Cambon, Paris, where Gabrielle Coco Chanel set up her first boutique and the apartment she lived. The Chanel Deauville bag is a simple yet beautiful design and has fast become a fashionista favourite when delving into the Chanel handbag raid. The Chanel Deauville tote bag has to be Chanel's most capacious bag with plenty of space for all your essentials. The bag is as practical as it is chic with a more relaxed appearance than your typical Chanel style. 